Hi everyone, here is Breeding in Canoe product, the first 60 aircraft. It can be controlled by different transmitters. Optional reading transmitters include TAS, TAFB, G12D, G16D, AT9s Pro, and AT102. Today I'm going to introduce how to use Redlink 89 Pro to control D460 and remove the magnetic cabin cover and the cover here. All the accessories are inside the body and we can see that D460 is installed with Redlink BIMDB flight controller. It supports a standard bus and PPM signal, so you can use receiver or transmitter from other brands to control D460. Just make sure your receiver supports standard bus or PPM signal. Redlink Lines Pro is compatible with Redlink R12DS, R12DSM, R9DS, R6DS, R6DSM receivers. And all these receivers support sparse signal, so I recommend to use R6 DSM or R12 DSM mini receivers to control D460. And I take R12 DSM as an example in the video. And here is BIM DB flight controller. Sparse and PPM signal is connected to the receiver, so connect it to the receiver directly. Make sure the polarity is not reversed. Here it is connected. And here is BIM DB flight controller. Uh, Spas or PPM channel is connected to the receiver. Channel 1 is connected to the left servo. Channel 2 to right servo. Channel 3 to ESC here. And so here are all the collections. And the bending of R12 DSM receiver and 89 Pro has already been done, so I'll show how to set the transmitter. And enter the basic menu. Long press mode button to enter the basic menu. Model type and select Acrobatic. And also it is recommended to reset the model first and select a new model when you're setting it. And then reverse. Set the direction of channel 3 throttle to reverse and other channels to normal auxiliary channel aux channel set a three position switch for channel 5 and a two position switch for channel 7 and i set switch c the three position switch here for channel 5 and the switch d a two position switch here for channel 7 and return to server display and push switch C channel 5 and push switch D channel 7 and the D460 has three flight modes the flight modes are controlled by switch of channel 5 so push switch C up it is stabilized mode and push switch C in the center gyro mode and push switch C down in manual mode and when using other brand transmitters you can refer to the picture on the screen to switch the flight modes and the motor can be locked or unlocked by channel 7 in the transmitter and I assign switch D to control it. Uh, I'll introduce the details of motor lock later. And we use other brand transmitters. Please refer to the picture on the screen to lock or unlock the motor with the switch of channel 7. And you also need to check the channel se selection in H9 Pro. Basic menu. And the system. System. And here is channel select. If you are using R6 DSM mini receiver, you need to select 10CH. And if you are using R12 DSM mini receiver, you need to select uh, 12CH. I use R12 DSM mini receiver, so I select 12CH here. And the setting of the transmitter is down. After setting the transmitter, power on D460. Plug the battery. And pay attention, you need to push the throttle joystick down to the lowest position when you power on D460. 
Keep default 60 in a stationary state. And the set test of the flight controller is done. Move the joystick. The control services move, so the collection is successful. And arrange the battery wires. Put back the cover to make it fix. And the motor of D460 can be locked or unlocked by channel 7. I've already assigned switch D to control 8 and push switch D down. The motor is locked and there is no throttle when you push the throttle joystick and push switch D up. The motor is unlocked. The motor emits two long beeps when the unlocking is successful. And there is throttle response when you push the throttle stick. And you must push the throttle joystick to the lowest position when unlocking, otherwise the unlock will fail. And Bank DB needs to recalibrate attitudes to ensure the balance status. It is recommended to lift the aircraft nose with about 20 degree angles for beginners to ensure smooth flight. I remove the cover and place the box under the nose, like this. Now the nose is lifted with about 20 degree angles. And then I push the joysticks to calibrate the attitude. The green LED of BIMD DB will flash once, and there will be a slight movement of the servo, which means the calibration is down. I'll show it. Push the left stick left and down. Right stick right and down, like this, to calibrate the attitude. The LED of BIMD DB flash once, which means the attitude, attitude calibration is down. And the attitude calibration will be recorded by flight controller once it is complete with success. And when using transmitters from other brands, you can follow the steps on the screen to perform the attitude calibration. After the attitude calibration is done, you can test the server face. Push switch C down to the lowest to manual mode. Here it is manual mode. And then check if the movement of the ailerons is inconsistent with the joystick movement. Move the aileron stick to left. Left aileron lift and the right aileron pressed. And move the elevator stick down. Left and the right aileron lift, so the movement direction of the ailerons is correct. But if the movement direction of the aileron is inconsistent with the joystick movement, you can adjust the servo face by pressing the buttons on the front of BIME DB. Here it is. After all the tests above, you can install the propeller. And we need a propeller and a rubber band to fix the propeller. And the propeller with words should face outward. Here are the words. Insert the propeller and connect two ends of the rubber band to fix it. And the propeller is fixed now. Then you can fly D460 outside. That's all about how to use 89 Pro to control D460.